everybody, my name is Sabuno Isaac Beer from Beer Challenge Lab, and today we will be looking at the Pearl Harbor attacks. Now, Pearl Harbor is a U.S. naval base inside Hawaii. Now, Pearl Harbor was a historic naval base for the U.S. Ever since the U.S. annexed Hawaii in 1900, it was the center of the U.S. Pacific Navy fleet. During World War II, most people only know about the European front. You know, uh, Germany, Italy, Russia, uh, uh, Yugoslavia, France, and all of that other stuff. And a few more people may know about the African front. However, a lot of people choose to gloss over the Asian front. Well, what was the Asian front about? Well, it was mostly managed by Japan. There was a French colony in a Southeast Asia named French Indochina, which was made out of the territories of what is now Laos, Vietnam, and Cambodia. Now, Japan set its sights on all of these European colonies, like British Hong Kong, French uh, Indochina, Portuguese Macau, and Portuguese, uh, there was Portuguese Macau and Portuguese Goa, British India, etc., uh, etc. Et and it also set its sights on more of the island nations, like Taiwan. And uh, there was also this big thing they wanted from the Soviet Union. They wanted the Far East. And they wanted Manchuria and a lot of other coastal regions from China. So they had sights on a Pacific Empire. They, however, the U.S. was seen as a dagger to th their throat because the U.S. was stationing troops, uh, 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 troops and ships around Japan as they were worried as if Japan co uh, conquered all of those European colonies, the American colony of the Philippines might be next. So it armed itself, and Japan saw America as a dagger to its throat. So, in retaliation, what happened was Japan decided to bomb what they thought would be irreversible damage. They decided to completely destroy Pearl Harbor. They killed 2,500 Americans, injured 1,000, bombed all of the hospitals and airfields and na uh, Navy fleet around Pearl Harbor, and destroyed 18 ships, nearly half of the U.S. Pacific fleet. This was major damage to the U.S. <laughs> However, the Pearl Harbor could be fixed very easily. And while Japan uh, and Japan immediately invaded the Philippines and many other European colonies after that, thinking that the U.S. wasn't a threat. Sorry, but it was. The U.S. started island hopping, which is basically the equivalent of conquering little rocks one by one. Um, until eventually, every single island except the mainland Jap uh, Japanese islands were conquered by the U.S. After that, the, uh, Jap Japan was on the road to surrendering, but the U.S. had to finish it off by showing off their new A-bomb. So they dropped two of those on the cities of Hiro H Hiroshima and Nagasaki, respectively. Now, this does not cover many aspects of the Japanese-American War during World War II, but uh, this is just a quick gloss over of uh, Pearl Harbor attacks and stuff like that. Eventually, 800,000 people were killed in both locations, and even after the first bomb, Japan didn't surrender, but after the second bomb, they did. So, in August, the war between the U.S. and Japan was won. So, that is a quick gloss over of Pearl Harbor and associated events. Thank you, everybody, for watching, and we'll see you next time.